All right, you guys. Um, I'm gonna show you how to change your 500 gigabyte um, hard drive to one terabyte on PlayStation. I already changed mine, so I'm not gonna show you that part. I mean, it's simple, right? I mean, just just like take out the the nails and things. So I mean, in here I have the the 500 gigabyte one. So I just took out the hold on. Okay, so I took out the 500 gigabyte, put it in here. This is what my terabyte came in. Um, but my casing for my 500 gigabyte was um, different, so I just took out the terabyte and put it in there. With and the green part right here, see that little green part right there? Um, it was facing up in the other case, so so I just put the terabyte the same way I found this one with the green part facing up, the sticker part facing down. So I just did that, put it back in the PlayStation 4. So this video is just to show you, like you know, because I was getting the um. The thing of the that said, um, oh yeah, like it's corrupted. So, what I did is go to us. Dot PlayStation. PlayStation. Dot com. And then you'll you'll be taken to that page, right? So then what I do is I click on that. I mean, I don't know how you guys get to there, but this is how I do it. And then I go back all the way and then put support. And then I enter. And then you get that, right? So I just click to where it says my system. I guess I select your system, PS4. So I use two hard drives for this because this hard drive that came in with my terabyte, it wasn't working. That that's what it said. Uh, that the file was corrupted. So I just got a different one. This one's completely empty. This one was didn't come with anything. This is, I mean, this is empty. It doesn't have anything else in it. So after that, you go to show more. And then you go to hardware and peripheral peripherals whatever. You click right here. Upgrade PS4 HDD our disk drive and then so it tells you all these all the um, steps but this for like for the error thing that I was talking to you guys about so around here right here uh, right here install system software you click here and so in this one I just backed up I just backed up all my my um my save data from games and things like that. So, and that's what it was in, in this one. So that's all I used it for actually, because I was struggling so much with this. And so right here is gonna say latest, latest version. Don't don't download that update. And then you scroll down, and you're gonna get, and you're gonna get this one. Hold on. That one, which I was thinking was that one, but it's not. You go down to where it says perform a new installation, and then you click download now that that's what I put into this one into that one so so I put it into the into the, the slot right there and I downloaded it it went right there and you know you create the, the folders and all that and the hard drive and then yeah and then um so you can see right there like ps4 update like I did it so many times and then um and then you put it into the the update folder right well, yeah, it's good. I don't have the hard drive in there. I mean, the thumb drive. And so, yeah, you just drag, you drag the update inside the update folder, and then, um, and so that's what was on here. So it wasn't working because it was on this one. Oh, and you have to make sure it might come up as PS4 update, and it's gonna do, uh, uh, and it's gonna say one or two or three. No, erase that and just make sure it says PS4 update dot pup, and then, um. As soon as you got that, it'll be in the one, the empty one. So, so you you got all your folders in in this one, and your update, and then you put it into the PS4 when you when you turn it on, right? And then when it says like, and, and so you let it um, you gotta install install like, I mean yeah, initialize PS4, and then you know like to to this is right here. Um, reinstall system software. So you have to. Hold it for at least seven seconds when it's off. Like, make sure it does two beeps. Um, 
when it's off, like you turn it back on, but keep the button press and make sure it does two beeps. When to turn on and the other one will just happen. And then you let go. Then you put then you put this one in and you put um, reinstall system software, initialize PS4, reinstall system software. And then, um, and then it's going to tell you to put in a USB, I mean, uh, yeah, to install, to put this on the USB. So, but you already have it there. So you just put OK. And then you just wait for it and it should work on the empty one. And so that's what this one is for. And it's going to tell you, yes, I got so excited when it ha finally happened. And then this, this dude, um, which wasn't working for the update. Um, this one I used to, to um, restore my, my save data and all that. And it worked. Um, uh, so I don't use this 500 gigabyte anymore. And now I have like a terabyte. I mean, it's not a terabyte because I already like returned some of my save data and my... And you know the pick the capture gallery and all that you know it takes the space but yeah I have one terabyte um, it's working and all that so that so I got so excited when it finally worked sorry I couldn't show you guys because like I was I was struggling with it and I completely like forgot to record it but um but yeah I mean you just watch the other videos on how to like take it apart how to like um like what what buttons to do like what buttons to press and all that and then uh, just watch this video and um, and hopefully it helps you guys out. Hope you guys take care. Check out my channel. I do gameplays. Um, yeah, things like that. Horror. Um, it's new, so these are like I only have a few videos, but yeah, um, more videos will be coming out. And I hope you guys um take care. Hopefully it works. I I hope it works for you guys. Um, it worked for me, and I'm really happy now. <laughs> I I spent like um, almost two hours trying to do this because of that thing, but yeah. I see you guys next time. Peace.